Hey everyone, and welcome back for another video. Today, I'm going to be opening up a couple of English cards thanks to some of my family members. I went back to England and they got me some Pokemon cards, and this is the first of a couple of those videos. I'm going to open up a couple of tins from 151. I hear that this set is one of the hardest ones to get anything good in, so I'm hoping that we can pull something amazing. Fingers crossed we can. everyone, so welcome back for another video. Like I say, I'm going to be opening up some of these Pokemon 151 tins that came out a couple of months ago. And I went on vacation to the UK to see my family. They're probably up on the channel already. There's a video of me opening cards with my family and possibly one other guy who actually bought me uh, some crazy stuff. It's just amazing. <laughs> but my brothers also got me some stuff and my brothers Troy, Cassidy and Connor got me various different things. I've got another video that's coming out later on, which is kind of like three pack battle for the three brothers. But today I want to open up some of these 151 tins. And I didn't get a full collection because I couldn't find a full collection. And these are surprisingly expensive, especially with the cheap yen. But I did open up one already because I wanted to open up some packets while I was in England as well. And we didn't really get anything. So I'll just quickly show you what we got in this one tin. Um, it was Electabuzz too, so it's interesting that we got like a lot of electric stuff. Ooh, hitting mics. <laughs> um, but yeah, just very simple, basic cards. And 151 is still super popular everywhere. Still kind of hard to get. We did get Vaporeon, which is a nice rare card. But Energies, Ponyta, Pikachu, nice Pikachu. Uh, Farfetch'd and so on. And I think for this one, we got Nidoking as our like kind of rare with our nice sticker. So yeah, these are pretty cool. And I'm excited to see if we can pull anything amazing. I... Like I say, it is hard for me to get English cards. So this is one of those rarer videos where I can actually open stuff up. So we'll start off with Arcanine and we're going to finish on Gengar. So we've got four to open up. And like I say, 151 is just so damn hard to get hold of. This is either coming out in December or it's coming out in early January. So maybe these are a bit easier to get hold of. But uh, yeah, and the cool thing about these is they should each come with a oh, beautiful, a huge coin. Yeah, I do have the electric one somewhere in my cupboard, I think. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Very big coin as well. Like, can you flip it? It's... Tails. Oh, that means we're not going to get anything. <laughs> but there's also our sticker here, so it's pretty cool. I think they all make like one big thing with a hidden Charmander tail behind. But yes, we have two packets to open up. So let's take a quick look, see if we can get anything amazing. 151, like I say, it's damn hard to get hold of. English cards are hard to get hold of. And I want to say a huge thank you once again to, like, Aura Guardian, who sent some English cards into the channel. Like, I just, just, the, like, even the Scarlet Box is up on the shelf now. <laughs> but just all the amazing stuff that you've sent in, it just blows my mind. Thank you, thank you all so much for supporting the channel. Right, I don't think there's a pack trick, so we're just going to go straight through like this. So, we got Ponyta, oh, another Pikachu. We have a Farofetched. We have an Old Amber. We have an Arcanine. Very nice. Very uh, thematic Arcanine box. Or Arcanine tin. Kingler. We have Snorlax. Doug Trio. Shelda. Oh, wow. Okay. We got an Alakazam EX card. Very nice. Ah, oh, damn. I think I pulled this in the Japanese one too, but that's cool. Oh, and excellent. We actually got one of these cool energies. People say that there are swells on these that you're supposed to look for, like the old kind of holographic swells. I think we have zero. <laughs> but anyway, damn, that's a cool pack. Look at that. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, already we're getting some kind of like fire. So I'll put those up there. Or oh, I say fire, we're getting some psychic. Is that even a thing? <laughs> All right, on to our second packet. And like I say, we've only got four tins. So that means eight packets to open up. I want to get my hand on one of those premium trainer collection boxes because those look damn cool too. I want to get those Mews and I want to get the Metal card. Metal cards seem, just sound amazing. I think they had it for like a Charizard premium set, but again, living in Japan, you don't get the uh, exclusive Jap uh, English stuff. All right, Krabby. We got Sandshrew, Seal, Do Duo, Big Air Balloon. We are just, Lily Allen just comes to mind whenever I see that air balloon. Primeape, Fero, Eevee. Very cool. We got a nice reverse Eevee. We also have, oh, nice reverse Gengar. If this was the Master Ball in Japanese, this would be worth a lot of money. Okay, we've got a Dodrio and we have a basic Dark Energy. Okay. All right, so that's that one done. Let's move on to our second one. You can see we got these at Waterstones. <laughs> and yeah, Connor, Connor, my youngest brother, he got me these. That was just, ugh, oh, blew my mind. My brothers, Troy, Cassidy, and Connor. I'm going to say their names. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say your names, guys. They got me some amazing stuff and uh, I've just... So lucky to have such wonderful family. <laughs> I really have. 
Um, all right, we got the grass coin. Do, 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 do. Nice and shiny. Oh, everything's falling. And then we should have the Saita, Saita. Oh, Bulbasaur, there we go. Bulbasaur hidden up the top there, that's cool. So we'll put that sticker to one side. Two more packets, let's see if we can get ooh, anything good. I find it's hard to get these out of these tins. But anyway, take a look, see. All righty, all righty. So we'll put that over there. We've got another code card. And I, I ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'd love to give you guys the code cards, but I, I need them for myself. <laughs> All right, another Krabby. We have a Sand Shrew, we have a Seal, we have a Doduo, Arcanine, Kingler. I feel like I'm getting a ton of repeats. There's maybe 151 Pokemon. Um, Snorlax, we got a Sand Slash. We have, oh, excellent. We got a Mr. Mime Art Rare. Mr. Mime. Very nice. That's cool. And we got an Electrode and a Grass Energy. Wow, that is a cool card. Look at that. Very, very nice. Wow, we've actually got a few few decent cards so far. I find from the people I've watched, because I watch people like Poker Pair and stuff, um, a couple of small YouTubers, but they're growing really quickly. I'm big fan of theirs. Like, they have some awesome stuff. And when they're opening 151, I'm always kind of like, whoa! <laughs> um, but yeah, like, this, and I think Poker Rev had a ton of stuff. Farfetched, Shelter, of course, Poker Rev has a ton of stuff. Helix, praise Helix. There's also Slowpoke, there's Magnetone, Nida Queen, Victory Bell, Scoferi, Voltor, Beedrill, very cool, and a Fighting Energy. Okay, nothing great in that packet. Okay, which one did I say I was going to end on? Was it Gengar? I think it was. Actually, you know what? We're going to end on Dragonite. There's Gengar, and I think there's a Squirtle Tail somewhere. Where was it? Oh no, that's on the other one. <laughs> Alright, let's open this up. And let's see what we've got. We should have a... S Ooh, dark. Very cool. Excellent. It's a shame there's no ghost, really. But, uh... Ta-da! Gengar! Two more packets. Let's see if we can get anything in this one. Alright. So, yeah. And the English cards are super fun to open because what I do is... I, I live in Japan. For those of you that don't know and you're tuning into my channel for the first time, hi, I live in Japan. <laughs> I just opened up, so this is probably going to date the video, but a box with my wife of like the Future Flash and the Ancient Roar. Oh, Shiny Treasure should be coming out or out by this point. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff on this channel in Japan. But fingers crossed we can get some more English stuff as we go. All right, Abra Diglett. We have a Drowsy. Okay, now we're getting new cards. Bulbasaur! Bulbasaur! We have a Parasect. We have Giovanni's Charisma. We also have a Cloister. We have a Gold Duck, very nice. We also have, oh, Rapidash, very cool. And another Dodrio. Okay, any shiny energy? No? Okay, so that's just kind of the typical 151 packet, I suppose. And boxes of the Japanese 151 are going for a lot of money. I think they're about like 100 and something bucks. Maybe even 200. Oh no, that's not, there's no pack trick, is there? <laughs> Um, all right, Shelter, Horsey. Ah, oh, it's adorable. Look at that art. Oh, okay, it's a Horsey. There's a Nidoran. Oh, skipping. There's an Abra. We haven't got Kadabra yet. Primate. There's a Fero. There's an Onyx. There's a Coffin. There's a Voltorb. Okay, we got a Golem EX. I think I actually do have this card already, but it's still a nice card nonetheless. Oh, and we got another kind of holographic energy. Any swells? There's a star. Any swells? No swirls. Well, regardless, this is beautiful. Look at that. And it's cool because it changes the color down here too. Okay, so we've got those as well. So we'll put that to one side. And I think now, was that the last packet that was? Yeah, oh wow, okay. All right, we're on our last tin. So this is the Dragonite tin with the Vile Plume and the Hidden Squirtle. And like I said, I wanted to get all of the tins, but I just couldn't get my hands on them. So let's take a look. There you go. So this has the Dragon token or the dragon coin. It's pretty cool. There's our Dragonite sticker. And here are our final two packets of 151. Oh, 151. <laughs> You're so hard to get hold of. <laughs> and we searched so many places. Like my local news agents, they actually had like Obsidian Flames and stuff. I was surprised at how easy it was to buy like Silver Tempest and so on. But yeah, a lot of places just didn't have cards. <laughs> All right, so we've got two packets left. Let's see what we get. We have a Shelter. We have a Praise Helix. We have an Antique Helix Fossil. There's a Slowpoke. There is a Magma. In Japanese, this is called Booba. 
It's a very strange name. <laughs> Charmeleon. There's a Parasect. There's a Cloister. There's a Nidder Queen Reverse. Very cool. I like the reverses. There's a Victory Bell. And there's an Aerodactyl, our Amber Fossil Boy. And we have a Fire Energy. Okay, we've got one packet left. Let's see if we can get anything in this last packet. Come on, last packet magic. Please, last packet magic. All right. Okay, let's see what we get. I'll put my code card over there and let's take a look. Okay, we have Slowpoke, we have Growlithe, we have a Geodude, we have a Jigglypoof, we have a Giovanni's Charisma, I'm skipping one. We have, oh, Rhydon, okay, there's a Rigid Band. There's a Charmander! Oh, very cool, nice reverse Charmander. There's a Dratini, very cool. I actually have the Master Ball for this one and there's a Vile Plume, okay, which actually kind of is good because on this Dragonite box it does have Vile Plume there on the front, so I'll take that, I'll take that. Oh, and we did get another shiny energy! Any swirls? No. <laughs> I think people like looking for the swirls, but uh... Anyway, so I think we got some pretty good pulls out of eight tins. I think we got some good stuff. So I'm just gonna go in reverse order of what we got. We got that nice green shiny energy. We also got a Golem EX. We got a dark shiny energy, or holographic, whatever you wanna call it. There's a Mr. Mime art. Mr. Mime! We also have an Alakazam EX. That is beautiful. Look at that. Very, very cool. And we have a nice electric energy. So yeah, I want to say a huge thank you again to my family and to my brothers for getting me some stuff. There's a few more bits coming and I'm sure there is a lot more stuff coming your way from stuff that's being sent into the channel and so on. So yeah, if you liked today's video, please give us a like, please subscribe. There's going to be a lot more content coming. So don't you worry. There is a ton of stuff coming your way. All right. Love you all. And bye. Bye. That's a cool Alakazam, that really is. It seems so much nicer looking in like the English than the Japanese. I don't know what it is. I think because the Japanese is a lot more textured. This feels more kind of like the actual art and that, look at that outline. Damn. God, I need English cards. Oh, I wish it was easy to buy English cards in Japan.